Josh here, and this is my review of the A-Team, Shotgun Wedding, the official movie tie-in for the new A-Team movie by Joe Carnahan, and it definitely follows the more movie-ized version of the characters, but in and of itself, this is a lot of fun, very pointless, I would say, but still worth picking up if you're an A-Team fan. Being a new or a recent A-Team fan, I'm now at the end of season two, proud to say, and I hope it keeps up, even though I've heard bad things. But uh, this comic is really just feels like one of the episodes of the show, or what would be an episode of this new show. There is killing people in this one, so it's definitely not the new show or the old show where they have stormtrooper aim. But uh, other than being fairly inconsequential, I had a lot of fun with it. Skipping straight to it, I'm not even really going to bother summarizing the story outside that it involves the A team impersonating different members of a cruise ship trying to protect someone from whoever the villain of the week, right? And uh, the art, while not amazing, definitely does its job. I guess serviceable would be the best way to put it. I think the prologue chapter actually really is quite ugly compared to the rest of it. And uh, I didn't really have a problem with it otherwise. Like I said, they were trying to mimic the actual actors for the new movie. I found it kind of weird that they were not able to capture Bradley Cooper. I mean, Murdoch is fairly recognizable as the actor, and... Hannibal is definitely recognizable as Liam Neeson, and B.A. Baracus is basically a comic in and of himself as Mr. T, so you'd think it wouldn't be that bad. Bradley Cooper is, you know, somewhat distinctive, and it does have his whole hairline thing and his general look sometimes, but then other times his face would just go all mushy, and especially some of the side characters really suffer from not really great drawing, so I definitely have to give the art a couple marks down. But at the end of the day, this kind of thing really hinges on on the chemistry between these four characters. That's what the show is about, that's what the movie was about. I thought the movie did a really great job, and this book does a pretty good job with it too. It starts off slow, honestly. Do not judge this book on the prologue chapter. That's terrible to say, but while the prologue chapter does set things up, it just wasn't really necessary, especially because people who pick up this book are not going to enjoy the prologue chapter because it's almost completely devoid of humor, which is a key element in the A-Team. And the rest of the actual, the rest of the comic really does work with humor. I mean, there's a lot of B, good B.A. jokes, and one particularly hilarious thing that happens to Face, though, that they plan fit, they put Face into a plan, and, uh, oh, man, it's just, it had me rolling over in laughter. It is a really short read. You can finish it in under an hour. It's not really that dense. There's no thematic subtext or anything like that. This is the A-Team. You know what you're getting into. If you like the A-Team, particularly if you like the new movie, then check this out. Shotgun Wedding is a lot of fun. I picked this up over War Stories because War Stories didn't seem to have much of any humor. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, because if it doesn't, it's just the part I read. I'll go out and buy it. But this really actually does is a lot of fun. The action scenes, again, in the prologue, weren't very good, but the rest of it were handled quite well. There's not a whole lot of action, but frankly, I think in a comic form, that works a lot better for this kind of franchise, especially if they're trying to mimic more realistic faces and things. I was uh, very pleased at the lack of dig or digitization when they have a lot of, uh, like, sc oh, not scans, I guess is the wrong word have digital speed lines and whatnot, I was really pleased with the lack of those. A lot of movie tie-ins do do that, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what more I can say, really. The dialogue is okay, it's kind of just there, you know, I wasn't offended by it, it wasn't particularly great. Outside of the chemistry of the A-Team, which I thought really captured each of the characters, and again, that's what you really want, it's just not no, very noticeable. If you like the A-Team and you like the movie, pick this up. Otherwise, it probably won't make you a convert, but I can't see you hating me after the hour or so you spend on reading it.